Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and in this video, we'll continue with the web app using Spring Boot. So in the last video, what we have done is we have created this page which is home.jsp in which I'm just printing I love Java. I don't want to print this localhost part as of now. So I made the changes here and once I've made the changes, I can just restart the application so that let's see if it is working. I will go back to my browser and say enter. You can see I got I love Java. Now what I want is, you know, if I go back to the controller, everything seems good at this point. But normally when you create an application, you don't keep all your files in web app. You don't put all your pages in web app because web app is a folder which is public. What if you want to make it private? What if you want to put your pages in some other folder? Example, let's say inside web app, I have one more folder here, which is called as let's say pages. So I have this folder, which is pages and I'm moving this home.jsp to pages. So that's the first change which I have done. The second change is normally when you work on spring framework or spring MVC, in fact, if you have seen my theory video of it, you don't normally mention the JSP pages is because in future, you might want to change to velocity. You might want to change to theme leaf. Of course, you don't want to put at dot JSP at the end. So will it able to search the page, which is dot JSP. So I have made two changes here. The first change is the location of the page. And the second change is dot JSP. I've removed the JSP part. Now, as we know, we have a concept of auto configuration inside Spring Boot, which is doing this stuff for you. So the default folder is web app. The extension is whatever you mentioned here. But what if you want to configure this? Because we have not done any configuration yet, right? If you want to do any configuration, we have this special file called as application.properties. Now it belongs to this resources folder. And if I open this application.properties, it is empty as of now because we are not doing any manual configuration. But what if you want to do something? Now, what is that something here? So I want to specify two properties. The first one is prefix. So the path of a page is defined with the help of prefix and the extension of a page is defined with the help of suffix. So it's very simple. Just say prefix. The moment you say prefix, you can see we get the entire list here. So you don't have to buy heart those properties. Basically, this is a key value pair. Okay. So on the left hand side, you specify the key, which is fixed and the value is something which you specify. So I want to specify the prefix here. But as you can see, we have so many prefix here and now you can guess it, right? Because we are not using mustache. We are not using free marker. We are basically using spring MVC view. So we'll select this one and then we'll say, we'll say equal to whatever your prefix is. So my folder, which is slash pages. So I have my web app inside this. I have my page inside this pages folder. That's the prefix. The next thing we have to specify is suffix. So I will go for suffix and that is spring MVC dot view dot suffix and the suffix is dot JSP. So those are the two things you have to mention. And likewise, you can configure whatever you want. Maybe if you are working with data databases, of course, you can specify all the properties here. And this is kind of cool, right? Because you're not using XML anymore. We are using properties. In fact, we have one more option of YAML. So we can use that as well. But this is where you can specify all the properties. So yes, Spring Boot does provide you auto configuration, but that doesn't mean that you cannot do any configuration by yourself. You can. So if you want to do any configuration, this is how you do it. But let's verify whatever changes we have made. Is it working? So I will run this application and then I will go back to my page. I will say enter and it's working. You can, can you see that it's working uh, just to make some changes. Let's say if I make a mistake here. Instead of saying dot JSP, if I make it, let's say dot HTML. Now I just made that mistake there. Let's try if it is working. I will go to my browser and say enter. You can see we got an error. So this is how you can configure it. So of course you have to make sure that you have a proper data there. So that's how you can configure. That's how we can separate the extension and the location of your page. So that's it from this video. Uh, in which we have talked about application.properties. Again, we'll be using this a lot in the future videos. So that's it everyone. Thank you so much for watching.